So uh, shortly after, I don't want to say shortly after that, maybe about a year and a half, you, you'd popped up doing some dark matches for WWE as well. How did that come about, and, and how did you feel there? What kind of feedback did you get? I'm very interested to see how that all unfolded. Um, that was a strange scenario in itself. Uh, I ended up coming across, Shawn Michaels and I kind of have a relationship, friendship, yeah. especially with Lance and stuff. Um, and I ended up, we ended up on a phone call. I forgot why. It was, it was talking about something. We were just talking about the business. I'd been away from the company for several years. And um, he had mentioned, he goes, you know, you ever thought about coming back? And I was like, well, I don't even know who to talk to. Yeah. And because uh, <clears throat> things change in that company so much. And it, it's, um, he goes, well, let me, I'm, I'll, here, give me a minute. I'll call you back. And I get a call like 10, 15 minutes later, you know, Johnny Ace, hey, Trevor. And we talked for about 10 minutes and, you know, asked me if I want to come in and do it dark, and have them take a look at me. And I was like, sure. Yeah, let's, you know, let's see if we can do some business again. At the very least, I felt. Um, at that time, like I could get a, a, a Val Venus job. Sure. And, and what I mean by that is just going out there with young guys, helping elevate them, uh, and, and making them look good and, and still keeping myself strong, but obviously they win, you know what I mean? But go out there and have good matches and try to help take young guys to the next level. Yes. Uh, so I come in, I do two dark matches. I think I did a singles match with, uh, Evan Bourne at, and then another the next night was against one of the Usos and um, had great matches, you know, basic, you know what I mean? You go out there and let them, everybody know you still work. You're still decent shape. Yeah. Um, I got a call from Hunter uh, that next week saying, Hey, listen, we're going to go ahead and bring you in. We're going to, you know, basically we're going to put you in that Val Venus role. He goes, um, but I want to, you know, just, I want to tell you though, something though, Trevor, we brought Steve Austin in as a quote unquote in a Val Venus role. So the opportunity is really up to you. You know what I mean? And I was like, great, man. This is awesome. He goes, we'll call you and get everything set up and we'll start getting on the road. Um, I waited around for like a week and a half and I got a call from Johnny Ace and he gave me damn near virtually the same exit speech as he did when I when I lost my job. Trevor, uh, with, you know, with, with budgets and stuff right now, we're having a bunch of budget cuts around here. We just... We don't feel right now financially it'd be a good time to uh, bring you in. And uh, I was like, all right. Like, it, it was a really weird scenario. Um, and I I just I, I just laughed about it, you know, because at that time, man, I was, I'd already, you know, <clears throat> with WWE, the worst thing you can do to a WWE wrestler is fire. Because that's yeah. the only thing we're, quote, unquote, really scared of. Yeah. So once you fired us, well, shit, like we already been through the, the, the horrible feeling of being fired and, and we know what the emotional roller coaster is. So if you bring us back and let us go, like I already know what's going to happen. It doesn't have nearly the effect as it did the first time. Of course. So I just la I just laughed about it um, and just continued to look forward. And now, you know, now I'm at an age where like I would never I know people go, hey, you know, don't ever say never about WWE. It's there's a different system there, man, that and a, and a stress level there that I don't ever want yeah. to ever deal with again. 